Today is a race. That's the start of this race. Challenger race on board with Blind Menge. Well, not blind anymore. Oh, no blind anymore. Now you can see. <laughs> then we're going to follow his run and we're going to comment his run. Here we go. He's not running, he's pedaling uh, compared to the guy in front of him who is actually sliding on his ass. And Menge taking his time, flying donkey on the donkey. right, is passing him. Doing pretty good for a donkey. <laughs> then uh, Menge is staying on his bike, trying to look for a clean uh, spot of snow. It looks like he's doing pretty good. As you can see, he's not going crazy, not looking too fast, but surely he's on his he, bike. He's got the technicity of one foot on the pedal and, yeah. and one foot uh, He out. definitely load the front. <laughs> definitely load the front. And he's loading the front. He's loading the front. Maybe now not loading the front anymore, but look, he have a good part. Everyone is riding on the left. You can see all those lines. He have a clean run and he's uh, right in the inside he, of the not, corner. He's not picking up a, a route. He's kind he, of yeah, he's free riding. Yeah, he's free riding. He's right? free riding. Yeah. He's going to find a little patch of uh, dirt and rocks, mostly rocks. But at the end of the day, that's doing the job and he's passing a lot of people. And that's, uh, I mean, people are passing him now, but he's uh, in the top five, he's, ten, top he, ten. he's in the top of the guys, in the top of the league. Then uh, right now, he tried to avoid all those big roads. Now we're going to go to the second wall. That's a difficult one. It's a lot steeper than the start. Then look, that guy is definitely sliding on his ass. Menge is still on his bike. I don't know where he's going right now. But and you actually go faster here than the other one. Yeah, he looked faster. You see, he looked for clean run. Everyone been riding on the left, and I go on the right. But I think as soon we're going to have a little surprise of blind Menge, who's not so blind anymore. He is going to go for the patch of dirt. Yes, sure thing. But you don't really know where he's going. Find the dirt, find the rocks. Right, now yeah. he's good. But now you have to come back. Be careful when you come back on this snow. You never know if it's too soft and you will go over the bar. But he's going to stay on the... He, he wants the dirt. He wants the dirt. He wants the dirt. He don't like too much the snow. And yeah. look, he <laughs> got lost. <laughs> he's on top he's of the rock. He's on top of the rock. It doesn't look like much, but it's it's crazy. To look, look on the side. If you yeah. want to jump there, it's a big gap yeah. between the rock and the snow. <laughs> That's the end of the glacier. He's there. He know. He's happy. He's done with that. Then now, from now on, is going to be the the race is starting really. Like dirt here, really important. You just like going the south of the mountain, and it's so many lines. You can actually, yeah. it's a line, and everyone know. Like the top guys is on the right, and you're just avoiding all this. Because, uh, but it's very hard, you gotta go very it, fast because you're flying over exactly, and, and it's a lot of drops like that, and you never know what you're going to find behind those kind of drops. Then, uh, here, be careful, you're going to be in traffic for sure. Look, all those guys, it's a lot of many lines, but it's easy to crash or maybe miss that bridge if you try to cut the line. <laughs> but here, don't give too much because. I mean, it's just the beginning of the race. Then it's really, really, really tough. It's a lot of up and down, up and down. A couple of cranks there, a couple of cranks there, and really high in altitude. That's why those sprints on CG Fun Camp Online was the point, like those 20, 10, 20, 30, 40 seconds yeah. to be able to uh, repeat uh, those kind of sprints many times because the, the top of the race is that way. The one minute is for later on when I will show you where with that time. And, and you always say the secret of that race is trying to be average, good average all throughout the race and not up and down. To do a good result in that view, as you cannot good. be flat out from the top to the bottom. Is that you have to be average and good everywhere. I mean, let's face it, it's too long of a race. You're going to have problems, and if you ride over your head, you're going to start to make mistakes, crash, and get puncture or whatever. Well, you can see this, um, we don't see how steep it is, but it's a one single track, good upper line here, like this, you avoid those rocks, but um, yeah, it basically kind of cut block. He's got a problem with this guy who is not fair play, who doesn't want to let him, let him pass. Yeah, I don't want to, well, that's part of the abduce. It's a choice. It's <laughs> a lot of people, I know, I've been in situation when uh, I was 34 out of the glacier and I have to deal with those people, and after they realize it's you behind, they're like, oh, we're sorry. I mean, everyone tried to do this right. It's hard to get mad on some people, but uh, yeah, some people understand 
I mean, if he catch you, he means he's faster well, than he, you. He, Let he, him pass. He's got your arm, man, but he, he's kind of a lot taller than you, so it's hard to think it's you. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's a lot slower than getting in front. He's really slow. He's really slow, but hey, you're going to meet a lot of people like this, especially on mass race. But, uh, and sometimes, you know, with the wind, they don't listen, they, they don't hear you. Well, in this part of the race, you get out of all those rocks, you're entering all those nice fields, but it's only one line. You can get off here, he passed him. <laughs> he, he, the guy who wanted to change the lane. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, or maybe he didn't want him to pass. Here, you have to use those kind of high speed because it's a little bit down here, a little bit of a climb here, but try to recover because you don't have many spots when you have to, you can take the chance of recovering because the race, it's going to be a lot of up and down here. We're entering no, you, in the in the steep part. The, the other part of the mountain. Heartbreaking soon on the left. You have the left corner. Couple switch back here. You're going to be in traffic. Don't try to pass people here. It's not the point. They're going to crash. All makes them crash. And at the end of the day, you're going to lose time. Everyone is going to lose time then. And don't don't forget those kind of things here at single track. You're going to have some blind corners with a little bit of a climb just after it. Don't forget. To gear down, uh, gear up, to have an easier gear to climb those little uh, uh, little climbs just well, after some. Corners. I say yes, but in fact, <laughs> I'm always stuck. Like, oh, well, it's easy because you, you're tired, yeah. you think about racing, and you forget about little things like this who make your ride even harder. Yeah, but even one gear wrong makes a difference. It is a big difference. Either it's too much. Or it's too either little. you pass or you push. Yeah. And you don't want to push, especially that car that's coming this here. This one is a big truck. Yeah, it's look, hard. Yeah, look, it's look. hard. Everyone is overgearing, like it's really hard gear. And this is basically cleaning your legs as well because you're not spinning. It's just like hammering down. And you're already tired. I mean, is this is a one third of a race. No, maybe not yet, but no. you're getting tired. And like I say, it's altitude. It's really high, and you, 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 you don't recover as quick. Thirty-three hundred meters. Yeah, three thousand three hundred. You don't. You don't recover as, as quick as lower in the mountain, that's for sure. And the energy you leave because uh, it's a race. And, blah, blah. and the energy you lose as being focused and make sure that guy don't make a mistake, they just don't ride over his head. And uh, that's definitely part of the game. Well, sometimes it's just easier to stay in traffic here and you have a lot of time to... Like I say, it's basically better to stay in traffic for a little bit it's uh, it's better to lose time basically what i try to mean to lose time to get more time later because here you're not going to be especially with all those climbs see that guy is running on the front here you cannot pass it's like a big rug on the left you're losing energy for no reason here you're entering after that climb in a the technical brother park oh, the, the brother of the donkey i was a rabbit <laughs> then this is technical here you're tired that's really easy to punch your big sharp rocks rocks everywhere i mean it's easier to stay in the line don't try to cut anything because it's really it's no one. it was a line here on the right but hey it's easier just always find those guys keep those guys a little bit ahead like this hey, slow is faster slow is faster always sooner or later slow is faster because now that's where the start the, for me the race is starting that big climb and you will listen what uh, my friend is saying is like oh i'm tired oh i'm tired see that guy is uh, doing good but here it's really it's a sharp sharp uh, beginning of the race uh, of the climb yeah. It starts very sharp. It starts really sharp. You have two, basically two sharp areas. <laughs> translate. Because he's telling him, okay, I'm coming. I'm going to pick you up because you're going to fuck up your bike into the bus. Like, no, no, we climb back on the bike because I need to train. And <laughs> then was like, hey, I'm climbing. And look at this. The right boy. The unique. The 51. The 51. All those guys just, uh, you know, advertising the package from uh, the UK. You know, try to get some sun tanning. Well, UK is not that big, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that big of a UK. Not very impressive, guys. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, there's the second part of the race after that big climb. A lot of switchback, high speed, and uh, I mean, we entering the last part of the race. I mean, it's quite a long. And uh, this, look at this. That corner is super, super famous because it's a clay. Yeah. Everything is dry, only that corner is clay. And it doesn't matter what and time you have. I mean, it's, because it's the clay like you cannot put on your body. Yeah, to, you exactly. Know, your body, right? And uh, here, you definitely damage. Another uh, pedaling section here, like uh, maybe for like, maybe 30 seconds. Entering the last wood section, 
with a lot of switchback, try to pass some people there, and we're going to entering a new section about Alp d'Huez when they put uh, left and corner. There, you don't see anything because of the light. Yeah, the transition between the bright light into the wood section, that's definitely difficult. We used to close our eyes before we entered the thing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but now we have the prism <laughs> from the Oakley that do for you. You don't need to close your eyes, but when you don't have choice, that's what you do. Hey, that's a new part of uh, Alp d'Huez. Looks like the Maxi Avalanche of Valnor, actually, yeah. the bottom part. Totally free ride off camber. Oh, upper that's line fine, here huh? from Menge, not so blind. <laughs> Definitely he did a good line here, but like, look at this. It's like straight down, kind of off camber, but uh, no drifting. dusty. You yeah. see, it's not the clay that the other corner. Only one corner in Alp d'Huez is clay, it's that corner. Definitely here, you definitely feel your arm, you are like you're breathing, you're like, okay, I want to have this done now, I'm getting tired. I mean it's like a three quarter. It's still a long way to go. It's still a long way, two it's, more climbs, yeah. two more climbs, we're going to cut a lot of parkour, it's going to be the same for a long time. He's going to manage to pass that guy. Yeah, that guy is letting him pass, definitely. But I don't think that Menge know where he's going from now because those corners wasn't in practice. Then we heard him shouting, oh, 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 new corners. Oh, oh, I didn't know oh, where I am. But definitely, those, it's tech. It's definitely tech at and, the end. And it's fast. It's, yeah. uh, it's a fast fast point, but very technical, but, right? But definitely more like a, a, a real enduro track, like roots everywhere, corner, dusty. They put some tape everywhere to uh, have the, avoid the people to cut the track, French line. True, you don't see the roots on the, but there's a lot of roots and they really sticking out. Out of the woods, they're going to pedal for a little bit, like actually quite a bit, maybe 2K, yeah. just like a road fire like this, where you have to actually Hammer down if you want to catch people, but at the same time, don't spread because you're going to blow the less of energy you have. And still, another wood section was and actually pretty that's, technical. That's where, if you don't follow your training exercises, a lot of people are passing you. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is where, like, tons and tons of people. But that's why you. those minutes, minute and a half of like uh, hard uh, intervals. intervals are working because that's where you're able to recover from one to the other uh, but at the same time keep pushing but uh, that's why you pass every, everyone because everyone is dead there you see that guy is cruising and right. Menge tried to get the, the draft from him he's drifting him wow. get him get him yeah get him. and he's going to probably pass him right. but, yeah um, you need to there, pass those are, guys before the the, uh, the other tech section is coming in soon definitely definitely um, I remember lots it's of dark there. again yeah lots of roots but like like I say, this wood section here is so tech, it's so steep. Look at the line here, like full of roots. And don't forget, you're dead here. Yeah. You're dead. The only thing you're thinking is passing the finish line. You see in the lower yeah. line because he couldn't take the top one because he's dead. Definitely here, everything is like so bumpy, breaking bumps. You, I mean, this track being... Uh, being used every day. 2,000 riders. 2,000 riders for a week. <laughs> for a week, then, I mean, the braking bumps are huge, lines all over the places, and uh, a line was there on Monday, it's probably not yeah. on Saturday. <laughs> and it's all going fast. I mean, yeah. for me, it's going fast. Good inside line here. This is steep. This is. And I think oh, here, oh, oh, he got a little bit lost. <laughs> I think it, it, it the French was, line didn't work. The French yeah. line didn't work. But pretty, pretty scary though to uh, to have like a big rubs like this. A tape would be a little bit more appropriate because yeah, I think if you get a rub here, yeah. it would be definitely a mark. Well, if you're going that, your speed. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least if it was orange, you could see. But it was a proper uh, uh, color of dirt. Then uh, this is the last wood section of uh, I think a couple of corners, and I think you're going to see yeah. the bridge because after that bridge, it's a long straightaway in the finish line. You know you're on a good pass here. You know you're almost done. But as well, you're dead and you don't have people. Here we go. That's the bridge yeah. I'm talking about. Super narrow. Don't try to sprint on that bridge. <laughs> you will clip your underbar and go and land on the water. It's a right corner. Quite of a uh, maybe 300 meters and the left corner and we had the finish. But that you guys in your in your back trying to pass you still here. Exactly. Yeah. Here I remember I raced and I was pushing. I had no more chain and there's so many people was passing me and people was like, I want to help you, but I want to finish. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm sure. Keep going, brother. Keep going. Ah, you see, Menge was still pretty clear because in his head because he's cleaning the yeah, camera. Yeah. Well done, Menge. Not so bad. You see, that's on the left of the house, the left corner and right, and you're going to see the finish. Dude, you don't know how happy you are when you pass this. 
because you just finished doesn't matter about the position anymore you just want to get the fresh beer and just hug your friends and be like oh, i was so sick he's looking in the back to see uh, if people are going to pass him second and first in master 50. first in master 50 second in challenger well done brian menge <laughs> you lad you're not so blind anymore <laughs> we're proud of you cheers uh Thank you, that thank nice. you. He's another rider who do the CG Frank Camp Online. He started a little bit before you, but uh, definitely I hope you he help him and uh, it uh, don't look so bad when you first uh, uh, Master 50 and uh, second, uh, second on Challenger. But he's definitely a lot more experienced than I am. But yeah, yeah. He's, he's been, he's been he's, riding he's, he's for... coming back, actually. And you gave him a lot of advices. He told me that you weren't there, but we, we discussed and <laughs> all the stuff you say does work because uh, he had the eyes operation. Yeah, he, he had the eyes operation. That's why he's, we cannot. We now allow he, he, he to call him blind for, Menge. He didn't ride for a month. Uh, the last time he rode was with us in Spain. Yeah, so man. That was, uh, that yeah, was because you have a proper job as well. Then uh, definitely not <laughs> so easy to to train. But with the little tips, you see, you can finish the the the, the, the Alp Duez, and at the end of the day, that's what is the most important. Hang out, try to suffer less. Having more fun, obviously, because you suffer less and uh, mm. right be safer. More, be, be more in control. No way. Yeah. Do Don't it. be a passenger. Okay. That's definitely what you're going to see on my video on the CG Fun Camp online on setgracia.com. Try yes. to don't be a passenger. Try to. You're the boss of the bike. The bike is not your boss. All right? It's like a home. If you follow, <laughs> if you follow what this guy says, trust me, it works. I try. I try to give. Uh, what well, I learned for so many years for you guys to have a better ride, more fun. If we can do stylish as well, we <laughs> and okay. really, really believe me, if it works for me, it can work for you. Because... It's 50. <laughs> if it works for him, definitely work for all of us. <laughs> I even work for me because you know, I analyze all the stuff I do. You follow your advices sometimes? Well, it, it <laughs> makes me realize uh, what I do uh, with instinct. Uh, make me realize why I do it and at the end of the day that's good because it makes me remember and mm -hmm. think about it instead of just doing it and sometimes not doing properly then uh, I just try to increase it or do it more obvious when I mm -hmm. do it for the video for you for the CG Fan Camp Online I increase that movement then yeah. yeah I realize even more and then I pay more attention when I go right for myself and it it's one of the first tip you give actually is to to um, Increase, not increase, to exaggerate the movement. I always the exaggerate movement. because I remember, and uh, that's a, a true story. When I was driving school like this, he always tell me, Cedric, look at your mirror. And I was so pissed off of him telling me, look at your mirror. I was like this. <laughs> then uh, I definitely learned from that. Then now I exaggerate a little bit, especially when... Uh, flying Menge, let's call him Flying Menge, flying no Blind Menge, menge. <laughs> and you behind me, I always exaggerate because I know you guys are looking what I'm doing and I want to make sure you understand like the feet placement, mm -hmm. body placement, body language, how to break, where to break, and uh, definitely helps. Then uh, thanks uh, Flying Menge to bring us down, Alduez, Saturday Race, Challenger Race, 2017. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, we off, stay rad.